Hello there, my name is Rickflex and I'm greeting you inside the new office of CGI. As you can see, it is fully detailed and ready to go doing to do business. And along with that, the rest of the building. I finished the interior, or at least for now. With the, with, I add in these nice smelters with functionality. There's like three e smelters in both of them. And of course, the inside is magma blocks because there's, of course, needs to be heat. But there's also another furnace here. I did not change the conveyor belt, but I added in more pipes. I found more acacia wood, uh, mine vat. And I got more copper and just place that down. So, so I basically have finished the first building. And which, yeah, it's not the only building. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. And if you see my, if you see my, my, um, I am bar, I've been very busy with items. I've been mining and the mines get yeah, enchantments and fishing i've been fishing in the minecraft yeah so i did like get a lot of things couple of the like this diamond hoe the axe and these two diamond pick pickaxes are i've had in the trident but the i got another never never i ingot um, some more diamond gear. I got fa more fishing rods and some bows. I got like a very, very good bow. If I'm breaking free, flame, mending, and power. Now, of course, with a little bit of attrition from last episode where I um, turned my diamond sword into a netherite sword, um, I'm going to turn something else into netherite gear and which it's gonna be one of my piece of my armor it's going to be my helmet so and now you're probably wondering why the helmet so yeah I put it on that's it, it looks just it looks just looks better on me now I will eventually find more um netherite ingots to turn the rest of my gear into netherite but that's kind of the um look right now so yeah it just makes it look nice but really let's get down to business um so first thing i want to do is basically set up the groundwork for our next building this is the copper building i want to do next the iron building and which i'm wanting to do it Sim like right here next to the copper basically um, linking it up to like a another part of the building like a tunnel or a hallway right here or something like that I might push it back a little bit and there's a push charge sneak attack oh fail attack got it Anyway, back to it. So, um, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, so I'm going to clear out all of this, make a little more room for the next building, the iron building, in which it's going to, uh, of course, have an iron farm because it is an iron building, the iron district of the factory area. So, that's the idea. So I have now laid out kind of a perimeter of the um air of the area of like basically the perimeter of the building. Basically this is what the size is gonna be like basically be. So now it's gonna be the same thing, kind of the exact same thing as um the copper building with of course like all this copper or something else. I'm 
I, I want to try to do some differentiation, like some differences with the building architecture type. Like the deep slate and the basalt and all that on the outside will stay, but like where the copper is, it's probably going to be iron. Something like that. But it, it could change. Like I'm more feeling like it's going to be the same thing as like the copper. It's going to be the same architecture, so that's the plan. So time to take out the rest of this and replace it and after a few days at creating the at least the um structure it is finally done the like i just said the exterior is done except for the sides and the back where i need to harvest some more wood but um the roof is done, and the main sides here is done, but I gotta put the acacia wood um, framing on the top. But, um, another thing is the windows and the interior. Um, I have like conveyor belts and the, uh, um, all that so is, is gonna be in the next episode. But for right now, the building is done. It'll be ready to put stuff in it next episode. But I have another plan in mind for the rest of the episode. I'm planning to make a creeper farm. And hopefully there's nothing going to be um, generating it you know, like zombies or spires, I'm hoping. Um, so, yeah. Let's jump teleport right to where I'm thinking about creating it right here and which is kind of convenient because it is right behind the copper and iron building so what I'm thinking is it's going to be basically similar architecture but it's going to be a skyscraper of sorts where it's going so it will be basically towering Basically, where it can you can see it from the world here. So, but it won't be super tall like this mountain here. Yeah, it's a tall mountain. Nice, no, I noticed that. Um, like it's gonna have the CGI sign, so you'll know that this is a, the territory of the CGI company. And yeah, that's the plan. So let's kick off digging out the area for the farm and begin the build process and now let's okay so I have put together the creeper farm or a part of it so the plan is I'm going to have it stacked going up making a skyscraper um and hopefully it's going to generate enough gunpowder so I can make a lot of TNT in the future and it is running and it's been running for oh and it's fell into my own farm oh, I'm just going to dig my way out now I I have left the surrounding area but it's been running for a while and is not been generating anything like this chest is basically empty and I check the hoppers also they're empty also so oh it looks like I need to do some work inside it I'm thinking that the mechanics in Java for this farm where it's like on um, two blocks high but there's a trap door on the top on the roof may not work in bedrock so I might need to take the trap doors down and this might have just become a random mob farm as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so, so I have changed the 
change the mob farm. It's now a random mob farm, or it should have been because I've been staying here for an hour or so, and still nothing's happened. Yeah, I don't know what is happening. I don't know why it's not working, so. Like, I changed the redstone where the, um, tick, like, basically the redstone clock is slower, not it takes longer. Like, let me show you. It's basically, this is the redstone clock. And it is, like, the wire is working, but, actually, I'm, I'm curious, is it the, is there mobs in here? Is there nothing? Because I'm curious. See, it is working. Oh, wait a second. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got a stone pickaxe. I'm going, I'm going to see if it's running. Okay, that is, oh oh no, I've just destroyed the redstone. Oh no, that that's not good. That's not good. Okay, that totally did not happen. Just gonna put the wire back in. I'm surprised that the wire did not take the out it should have but okay I guess they are war logable or the war just went through here there's like a core of look like, like that's not possible like the only reason that broke this block here is that these went or war log okay I'm very curious to see if it how uh, that happened. Yeah, so these are war logable apparently. That's interesting. That's one thing I did not know. Like in face of one point seventeen, oh the rails can now be Warlock, but I did not know that these now are warlock and it's happened again. Yeah, I need to fill that bucket back up with war. Um, so I may have to do something off camera with this between videos because I don't know what's going off the f mob farm so I'll just play around with it and see what I can do with this so let's shift our focus to something else be something that I have planned for next video. Here's my plan yo that um the interior of the new iron building I was was going to plan for the next episode um for the interior to be done so i'm going to move that into this episode for the sake of the time span for the of the episode just so it's more gets more time in the video so let me go ahead and tell you the plan now that i'm doing it so basically i plan to do the same conveyor belt like one here on this side and another one on this side but, it's, but of course there's going to be the piping, but there's going to be some chain conveyor belts going along on the ceiling. And eventually I'm going to do a um, opening here where it's going to be smokestack um, on top of another um, tower of this building. In which that's going to be um, for the iron farm where it's going to be inside and the center where it's going to Want to have a um a steel smelter from the Industrial Revolution 
using um, Carnegie Steel um, steel plant back in the Industrial Revolution. So that's the plan if I have, but um, time prevent Tom um, with the time I probably will get the conveyor belts and the piping in here done but I may save that um, iron farm for our next episode like I did say also so um but anyway let's get started on the interior and I'll um, turn on the video and show you what progress I've done and so I I get the framework for the conveyor belts um on both sides it, they're basically mirrored um except for torches um the torches that I just put down for lighting so mobs don't spawn those annoying mobs like the enderman from last episode who stole gravel from me but um enough of that um anyway so now I can put in the basalt blocks down and um what I realized was um when you place down basalt I'm just gonna put down this move basalt block down when you put that down it basically blends in um right in between like right under the sl the deep slate brick slabs and so that looks really good and so I want to do this on both conveyor belts this um this move so like I said it's not the um, type of basalt I was going to use it's, it's basically that just normal basalt like I use in the other conveyor belt in the copper building but there's also the remember the copper that um I of the occasion when the copper um the actual copper um, going around and the chain conveyor belts that are going across the roof that needs to be put in so I will put those in and just show you what progress I made like I so when did. I was building I just saw an editor and I think I um, turned on the camera right when he teleported but there was an enderman I'm pretty sure that might have been the same enderman from last episode yeah he's still sticking around but um this was a great opportunity because I want to show you the progress on the piping and so I got uh, this area of piping set up you know, which I went ahead and put a small little pipe extending out where this was where it, this the piping here is going to connect up to the smelter which is right where in the smack dab center of the interior here where this um, black wool block is and so yeah that's the kind of, that's the plan you know i'm i am liking the look so far as i'm building it it is really coming together and so i'm going to keep on working on this and i'll get back to you guys if um more progress as i'm going along so, so yeah. i have finished the interior of the factory and i have to say i love it so far I have the conveyor belt done. Here's the compacting conveyor belt where the all the iron products will be molded into molded and pressed into place and into the shape it was supposed to be. And if it is not um, fully done, I have the chain conveyor belt that sends the iron that is not entirely done back to the beginning and it goes back through it. I can add some levers and add a little detail. Um, and over here, with the chain and conveyor belt where there's no chains yet, um, but this is the cutting station for where raw copper will be cut up before it is um, turned to iron ingots in the um, Andrew Carnegie steel plant smelter. Um, so yeah, I use I created the you know, similar a smelter from um, steel plants owned by Andrew Carney back in the um, Industrial Revolution of um, in 
18th um in the 1800s um United States so yeah but the um idea is with the this opening the roof I need to make it a little bigger but you know, there's gonna be a no a tower that is gonna be up there and um that's where the iron farm is and the iron will drop down to the um into the smelter and come out somewhere over here where it'll be a um kind of a hidden chest or barrel and you'll get the iron if you need to smelt it up into um whatever um you'll have the last furnace and have all the um function at like um just decorative if you want to just for the heck of it um send it for the compactor to um be molded into the product you want so yeah i really do like it it is more um efficient kind of a cohesive layout of the factory unlike the copper building and which this does really function or looks like it's going will function very well so i really do like it now um he ran from the last episode there was an enderman that solves a block of gravel and um i think a enderman that same enderman um left the this block of gravel so yeah now i don't have the um, put a bounty on him and hunt, hunt him down. Yep. I was planning to place a bounty on him. Yep. But anyway, um, I did also add some trap doors and door and just normal doors to make a um nice giant door into the building. I put uh, some. Actually, I did not put some doors on the copper building. I'll, I'll show you in the next episode if, if I do, but um, I, now I didn't change a thing in the copper building. I was more focusing in the iron building, but I also added in the windows. Yeah, like I said, trap the big door. I like it. Um, I do have some chests here. Has like this this chest has like all the bang blocks for the decorational, and you'll see in the next episode and a. A crafting table so yeah else I have some security here also so yeah I think that will wrap it up for this week's episode I hope you enjoyed it as much as I, I did um making it for the past <laughs> week um I do apologize that it took a week um I did not expect it to do so but um, I've been very busy creating this build and recording other videos for you guys to watch. But, um, anyway, if you did enjoy, enjoy this video and if you enjoy uh, any other videos that I posted, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And for now, I will see you in the next episode. And so now, it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye.